welcome to this playlist on Oracle Database Appliance. Before we get into Oracle Database Appliance, first you need to understand the concept of an engineered system. Oracle has got a portfolio of engineered systems. What is an engineered system? Pretty simple. As the name suggests, it is engineered for a particular purpose. One of the first systems that Oracle came out as an engineered system was the Exadata box. And then Oracle brought about Excel Logic, Oracle Database Appliance, Big Data Appliance, Excelitics, Virtual Private Cloud Appliance, etc. In this series of videos, I'm going to help you understand what is this Oracle Database Appliance. To begin with, as the name suggests, it's just a database appliance. So why do we need to take that? If a customer would like to set up an Oracle Database, of course, there is hardware, software that has to be procured. And then people like you and me would have to set it up, install the OS, install the software, configure various components, and then bring it up. Always, there is a dependency between all these components. So you need to take care of compatibility when you're sourcing these components from various vendors, be it the OS, hardware, network related components, firmware, everything has to be certified to run an Oracle database. Oracle decided why should a customer go through all these difficulties let us give an engineered system which is a combination of hardware and software optimized to run oracle databases this has gone through multiple releases there was x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 i will let you know about what are the detailed specifications about all these but what is interesting is starting x6 they increase the portfolio by bringing in smaller database appliances. When we talk about X2, X3, X4, and X5, the Oracle database appliance always came with high availability, meaning you had two database servers, which was part of the Oracle database appliance family, so that there was built-in high availability. But starting X6, they brought about the concept of a small, large, and a HA option. If you go with the HA option, it is very similar to what you had in X2, X3, X4, X5, whereas starting X6, X7, only if you buy the HA option, would you get two database servers. In the small, medium, large, the medium is an option that was available only in X6, in X7 it is not there. You basically get a single database server with storage built into the server, but no high availability. Why no high availability? Not all databases require an RAC setup and thereby the cost of buying an Oracle database appliance has also reduced with the option of the small or large that Oracle has brought about in Oracle database appliance. The beauty about an ODA is that setting it up is just a couple of hours. You don't need to bother about compatibility of components. You don't need to bring in all the professionals like network, OS, database to set it up. It's just a very very simple box even a administrator a system administrator can set it up with a few clicks so let's explore what is it in an ODA what are the components how does it provide you features to manage it administrate and optimize the Oracle database appliance